What's up, Bell Life family members? Try and dumb dumb come back at you again. Belllife.com. Belllife.com. So, uh, kind of. Uh, first of all, the, one, the first thing I want to say is make sure you all are following us on the Bell. I don't even know what it's called on our Facebook, on the Bell Life Facebook, and the Bell Life uh, underscore official on Instagram um, for updates and anything that's going on because people will message us directly on mess on Messenger and stuff like that, but. Just make sure you're following us on Facebook and Instagram. Um, you know the the, our, the Bell Life pages. Just you know the the actual real ones. So, uh, so um, let's see here the 13th. So I do the math on this real quick. Um, 13th, uh, Friday. Okay, so Friday, November t November 10th. Um, uh. Well, you all remember on the Bell Life Vlogs channel, which is, this is probably going to go on that channel eventually. Um, mom had gallbladder, gallbladder surgery, uh, emergency gallbladder surgery about a month and a half ago. A month, um, yeah. And the video is on the channel. Uh, you can see that she got out of surgery. She was doing fine. Um, all of that. Mom's really only been in the hospital. Uh, uh, well, this is the third time. Um, but the first time was knee surgery, which we had on video. You guys saw all that. The second time was gallbladder surgery removal. You saw that. Uh, me and Amy going to the hospital and visit, visit with the baby and stuff. And then, um, she went in Friday, November 10th. Um, at what time was the procedure supposed to start? Friday morning, Amy? Uh, six. So, she had to be there at six. Yeah, so we actually went out to eat Thursday night, um, and she, her, uh, she watched the baby Thursday night and told us that we needed to get back a little bit early because the procedure was early in the morning. Uh, gallbladder surgery, according to everybody we've talked to, is the second most common surgery um, in the hospitals besides hernia surgery. So it was like. So she already heard this. Now she's going in for procedure to get the stones removed. And well, that's not a procedure, right? This, no, this is what I'm getting. I'm, yeah, I'm still leading up to it. So Slow this down. this surgery that she was going in for November 10th was gallstone removal surgery, which is the the second most common surgery in the hospital besides hernia surgery. So everybody thought it was just a you know a normal a normal deal. I mean, um, our other brother, his dad, was actually going to get a dirt bike Friday. Me and Amy and the baby were taking um, the boat had got winterized. We were taking it back down to Corbin um, for the winter and drop putting it in the garage. Um, just a normal normal Friday. Normal Friday. Mom and Dad were going to Bob Evans after the procedure. That was the that was the plan. Um, so we we went we took the uh, me and Trey worked out did everything on normal Friday stuff. We got in the truck and went to Corbin and put the boat away and then uh, came back to the motel. Uh, and, and she had specifically asked all of us not to come. Because yeah, because it wasn't it was a big not deal. A big deal. Yeah, it wasn't a big deal. So uh, so that's how Friday went and then um, uh, it didn't didn't go good. Uh, they, they couldn't get the last stone out. Uh, they could get either stone out. I thought there was one stone left. He couldn't get either one of them out. He couldn't reach either one of them. Oh, I, I thought there was only one stone left. I wasn't sure. But, um, so the same he couldn't get either one of them out. Yeah, so th they basically closed her back up in a nutshell, allegedly. I center. think they go down her throat for that, though. Yeah, it was. They go down her throat, whatever they call that. They yeah. go down her throat for that, but go yeah. ahead. So, and then, um, so the plan was uh, UC had more tools or better tools or whatever it was. They, were more, cap they were more capable of doing it. So they sent her to UC um, on uh, Saturday. But in the midst of the first surgery, they had nicked her esophagus or put a hole, put a hole somewhere in her. There was a hole where she was actually leaking bile into her system. Yeah, we, we, we like I said, we don't know the whole. We don't know the specifics. Yeah, we don't know the specifics of anything. We're just giving you what we know, what they told us, right? You know what I mean? So that's what we know. Well, when did she get transferred to UC? When was that? Um, it was uh, it late Friday night, early Saturday morning. Yeah, but I don't think they'd give the ambulance ride till. It was yeah, it was really late Friday night. Yeah, they didn't do the surgery till Saturday morning. Saturday right? morning is when they did the, the so next. They surgery. moved her, but they moved her from St. E to UC Saturday night. They got her there. No, Sunday, Sunday or Friday, Friday, Friday night. Yeah, Friday night. Friday night. Then they scheduled surgery for early Saturday, Saturday morning. morning. Yeah. Correct. And so Saturday morning, we we were uh, me and Amy came back. Everybody was. Eddie got actually pulled in. We were actually going to a dirt bike race on Sunday. Um, uh, Eddie got here with the bike. We rode the back bike around the yard, around the yard. Trey was helping me put the uh, tank, the oversized tank on the dirt bike. You already saw on the vlog channel and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we were doing all that. Um, everything was still. Uh, Trey called Dad and um, asked if we should come over on Saturday. Right? 
And what did Dan say? Well, I mean, that they hadn't even decided that they need to go back in yet. They, When they got her back out there Saturday morning, the, the guy that was supposed to be the, one of the best in the area, he went in, and he got the goals done. He got it. Come to find out there was only one. They thought there was two. Blah, it was blah. the size of a marble. Size of a marble. But he, he got it. So in the process of that, from there on, something went. You know, so mom, so mom, so we talked to mom, you know, on Saturday. No, we didn't talk to mom. Uh, Dad had his phone on speaker. And uh, she still didn't really want to see anybody because how much pain she was in. But um, like I said, there's still a bunch of questions in the air, and you know the, the pain could be related to other things or whatever. But we're all it's very cloudy of what's going on. We don't know what's going on. Yeah, but the, <clears throat> but in the gist of things, that was Saturday night, and we were and you know Dad said you know you all still go to the race on Sunday, you still go whatever. And uh, then Saturday night. Uh, what time was that? About twelve or one o'clock in the morning. Took for surgery at no, he called me and he said they're going to have to they're going to have to go into emergency surgery because something there's bio in her system or something and we're, they're going to have to go into emergency surgery. And I said, well, I'm on my way over there. I said, this is ridiculous. Yeah. I didn't care if she wanted to see us or not. Not that I was disrespecting her, but I said I'm on my way. So I got out of bed and I called him and Eddie both and told them. And I said, I'm just going over there. I said, just for dad, you know, because I, I knew more than likely I wasn't going to get to see her. So me and Carly, my daughter, she, we drove out there. We got there about five till midnight. And we sat there from midnight till 4.30 in the morning. Sunday morning. Right. The surgery was supposed to take two hours. On the 12th. He was in there for four and a half hours. So dad kept saying, something's wrong, something's wrong, something's wrong. And I'm trying to get him to. You know, obviously, you know, I mean, I'm thinking the same thing. I mean, it's my mother for crime and sex, but I mean, I'm trying to keep him, you know, he's been with her 50, 54 years. You know, he's he's a wreck. He's walking around. Just relax, Dad, relax. So anyway, the doctor comes out and uh, he sits down. He said, okay, everything's good. He said, we went in. They had to actually cut her this time. Well, we, we went in. So the two procedures were the first down the throat at St. E. Then they sent her to UC. They went down her throat again. Mm -hmm. And then this was the third. This was the third procedure. So this time they cut her, and they went in, and she had bile, and you know it was just they put a feeding tube in her stomach, and then they put another kind of tube. But you people that know what I'm oh, talking about. Oh, that's when they said that she didn't be there for a month. There's two tubes in her stomach, and then they put actually put a uh, a drain tube above her liver. So he's telling us his story, and he says, "Hey," he says, "You know." It's gonna be a long road, you know. He said, but I, you know, there are a lot of people that I cut up and cut open. And I don't think I should have cut them. He said, obviously she needed to be cut. He said, it's good of us to get in there. He said, you know, we're basically in a nutshell ahead of the game. Um, you know, it's gonna be a long road. She's gonna to have to be in the hospital for a month. And I'll never forget. I looked at Dad. And he went, a month. And he said, yeah. I mean, this is they're supposed to be out that day. You know what I mean? I mean, all of a sudden it went from one day to a month or longer. Yeah, he said, said that she'd have right. rehab as well. Exactly. He said, because yeah. they'll keep her in here for so long before, obviously, the insurance company says we're not keeping her in, and they'll kick her to a rehab center. But anyway, long story short, they're going to have to feed her through her stomach and everything else, and I'm going, you know, it just didn't sound good. But then, you know, I stopped him, and I said, is this is this life-threatening? He said, oh, no, 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 it's fine. So then they, they went home. And we left about, I guess I left there. Me and Carly left around 5, 5.15. And then dad, I think he left it, he left a little later, not around six. We got home, went to bed, and then dad called me what, at like... He called me like around, like around nine or nine fifteen. I called you or dad did? Dad did, that day. Okay, because he, he said, morning. yeah, because dad said, called me and said, we're going back out there, they think they might have to do another surgery. Oh so my This was Sunday morning, morning, so we get there Sunday morning, they let her sit all day. So we got there right about nine, visiting hours are from nine to nine. Yep. We all sat there from nine to nine. Yeah, all day on Sunday, the twelfth. We were there all day, right. and they kept him hauling around, and we might have to do this, might have to do that. Of course, they got her, and they never took the breathing tube out of her mouth from that surgery, right? Which had me kind of scratching my head. I was like, that that doesn't make sense. I mean, if she's just, but they had her on all these monitors. Everybody that's a nurse, doctor out there knows what we're talking about. They had her on these monitors, ICU. They're they're keeping an eye on her. Blah blah blah. We talked to three different nurses. Yeah, so her main nurse, yeah, and they, uh, her, her kidneys number, numbers were going down. Her liver was messed up. Kidney. Well, her liver was fine, right, and then, but they, they had to put her on dialysis to, to so, give her kidneys a break. So, so, so they took her blood work, her labs and all that kind of stuff, and the blood work was, the numbers were not good, so then they put her on dialysis, and 
at like 6 p.m. on, it sun was late, on yeah. Sunday night. They ran the numbers again after she had already been on dialysis, and they said uh, when the results came back, her numbers were going up. Correct. Which is because she was yeah. on dialysis. Her numbers, are, and I think yeah. we got those results at like eight or eight fifteen on Sunday night. Well, Dad was, you know, absolutely worn out. He had only had like two hours of sleep in the past two days or whatever. So, so Dad, Dad left, and I never forget. You know, me and Amy went back. At, um, it was like eight thirty-five, and uh, Trey and Melissa were in the waiting room, and well, we went, stayed till nine. I know. Well, I'm, I'm and, saying yeah. we went back. Oh, okay, okay. We went, we went back, and and at that point, you know, Mom would, um, you know. Uh, was, she, what, you know, when you, when, when you would grab her hand and say who you were, her eyes would open up. But they were kind of, you know, she was obviously heavily sedated or whatever. But I, I want to hope and I know that she knew that we were there. Um, uh, it's very hard to see people like that. Um, but we, we, you know, I, I want to know that she knew that, that, that we were there. But when she would open her, at like 8.50 or whatever, she opened her eye, her left eye was yellow. And everybody that's watched any kind of movies or any medical shows or whatever all knows that you know yellow is normally like something's wrong with the liver John does. yeah something's bad so i told that to the nurse uh he um he said yeah we saw that we're going to talk with the doctors and, and decide what we should do or whatever but before he had told dad that the numbers were going up or whatever so i was kind of mixed emotions or whatever and and, and we walked me and amy and trey and melissa walked out at nine o'clock and we got to the parking lot we started the truck up and i said should we leave you know and you think in the back of your mind, I mean, she's at the hospital. What, what else? What else can you do? You know what I mean? I don't know what else you're supposed to do, but so we left, and um, that's two about two thirty, two thirty in the morning. They had called me Monday in, morning in a panic and said that they November thirteenth, twenty twenty three. They had to go back in and do emergency surgery. That part of her small intestines was basically died. And, you know, whatever, whatever. So, I dad was. You know, that's that's really hard when you know you're 51 years old and then he's your rock. He's always been that guy that he's like me. You know what I mean? You guys think I'm this Billy badass, but a lot of people do anyway. And that's how Dad was for me. You know what I mean? He was he was a mess. And I've never had to deal with that in my life. You know what I mean? I went over there and he's just he's pacing. You know, he's he's a mess. You know, he said I can't do it. I can't do it. You know, and I had to you have to you have to grab your bearings. You know what I mean? You have to get your bearings and say you know Dad. In the process of that, though, I called Justin and Eddie both and said, hey, you know, we, we need to get out there. You know, it's not good. And they told Dad on the phone that they didn't think she was going to make it. Oh, you know, they, they told him that. So we, were at the, we got to the hospital, like, I don't know what time it was. It was like 3.30 or 3.40 or whatever it was. We all walked in. Me and Amy and Trey and Dad walked in at the same time. Uh, went through security and got escorted. And it felt weird from the minute that we walked in because they were all acting... They knew. The, the yeah. nurse was acting kind of weird, which, you know, I was at that point, you know, you know, obviously you still have hope and everything's going to be okay and all that. But, um, we, uh, get, they took us up to the waiting room and then, the uh, the nurse took us back to where, she, where she was or whatever. And basically they took us back and basically said, she's dead. Yep. You guys just say your goodbyes. Yep. Like that. Yep. I mean, that's literally how they said it. Basically in a nutshell that her blood flow had shut down to all her organs. organs. Her liver and her kidneys were the only thing keeping her alive was the machines. Yep. So that's exactly what I said. I said, if you unplug the machine, she's dead. He said yes. So the 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 dialysis machine. So Sunday night, um, when they went back in, they did it in the room that she was in. So they told us I didn't want to look. Trey was around the area when they did that or whatever. But they, they had her they had her gape wide open. They just they taped it with tape. Yeah. They where they cut her down the center. I mean her her liver her, you know her pancreas everything was dead. There was no blood flow to it. There was basically no fixing what was there. It was dead. There, you know, they couldn't like there would be. I mean, obviously God could have given a miracle and something could have happened, but uh, from a from a medical standpoint, they had they had, their hands were tied. They had nothing else they could do. They so, had exhausted all their resources. Right. For so we basically stood there and held her hands. So that was like at three forty. Yeah, that was like at three forty five and. Um, and that's what you I said. Can't the, do anything. the most, the most haunting thing is that, um, probably never forget that, that the countdown was the craziest, you know, just that they said, just keep watching a blood pressure. And it started at like, like 115, 116 and um, over like 70 or over like 60 or whatever. Yeah, whatever it was. I was just watching the first number, but the, uh, the, and the, that number slowly kept coming down and slowly kept coming down. And, you know, you're hoping the whole time for a miracle and all well, that. When you guys got there? Like 114. That was, one, was 114 over something. I can't remember what time me mom and dad got there, but when I got there, it was 72. Yeah. It was like 114 or whatever. So at that point, she wasn't, um, she wasn't 
wasn't responding at all, but she, it was just really freaky. And the more people I talk to, the, the better it makes it or whatever, because I guess a lot of people have been through this, and it's just a real big shock when you've never been through it before. But some of the, some of the, um, the, the craziest things you ever seen in your life with her moving her arms and stuff. And it was just, our mom last Thursday was watching our baby and watching Lakeland, like nothing was wrong to that is what I'm saying. It was extremely surreal and scary. Um, so you go, <clears throat> you watch the numbers go down and go down and go down. And I can't remember. It was really blurry. I can't, I was on mom's right hand for a while. And I, I didn't know where I, I didn't know if they had, cause you're going through a lot of emotions at the time that, Dad's a wreck, and then, you know, your brothers are a wreck, and I'm trying to keep everybody, I feel like I'm, I want to keep everybody to stay positive and everything, and Dad's freaking out, and it's, you're all over the place, so I didn't know where I should be, so, and like, um, I think Trey was on her left hand, I can't remember who was on her right hand, I don't know if it was Eddie or Dad, but I think it might have been Dad, or it might have been Eddie. There's a lot of switching going on. I can't remember who it was, but we, in, in the room, it was me and Trey, um, me and Trey uh, and Dad and Eddie and I think Lori and Amy were in the room, and um, at nine ten it went all the way down to zero, and she took uh, um, two last little uh, kind of breaths, and uh, um, and she was uh, <clears throat> gone. Uh, so. Uh, that's why we're making this video because it's a little bit uh, rough around here. So, but I'm trying to stay strong because um, that's what mom would want. Mom would go sick to work. Um, she cleaned houses for years. She say something you've been saying all day. I'm sorry, Grandma. This is just a little bit tougher than going to work sick. I'm just gonna put that out there real quick. She, this is a lot harder than that. She would go. She keep going. Um, she wouldn't stop. Uh, that's the way that she was. She worked her whole life. Um, she didn't even have a year off before she was gone. Uh, we had to force her to stay off to, to retire, to, to retire, to watch the baby on Wednesdays while we film, um, uh, so we could have the weekends off. So, just want, want y'all to know, uh, we wanted the um, all of our family members to see this video first, um, to know what's going on. So stuff's been sporadic. Some videos have been late. We've missed, you know. Ask the Bell Lives and stuff. Um, and if you could please spread this of what's going on, um, of, of the hard time that we're going through right now, um, because people are asking us questions through Messenger and all that kind of stuff. Um, just share this video as much as possible to let everybody know. Obviously, in a nutshell, I didn't finish that, but our, our mom passed away at 9 10 on November 13th, 2023. So that's when that happened. We've been trying to film. Um, and I, that's and literally I, like 14 days after my birthday. Yeah, and so it's a little rough, you know. A lot of the things you go through um, in in life in life are rough, but you know, you think you're going through a bad breakup or whatever, you think that's rough, but no, nothing's really been rough until uh, now. I wouldn't recommend it. So uh, we we wanted to get it out to you all, so you all could see what, what exactly going on, and you all know as much as we know. Just we'll leave it at that. Um, we will have a video, um, a designated video of her mom, um, you know, with videos and pictures and stuff over the years. It, it's just going to take a little while to get together. It's, it's extremely hard to look at pictures and videos right now. It's really, you go from reality to not reality. It's just, you know, it's just... It's a, oh, it's, it doesn't feel real at all. It's a wreck. Until you think about it. So... It's the weirdest thing I've ever been through. So, um, it's just, uh, we're doing what mom would want, um, you know... Uh, we're filming this on, on, I don't even know what it is, Saturday the 16th, and Thanksgiving is coming up, you know, this coming week, and our mom's uh, uh, his funeral is September, I don't even know what it is, November 18th, I guess, right? Is that what it is? It's on, it's on, it's on a Monday, so we're, we're going through a lot right now, but we're trying to stay positive for you, for you all, but hopefully you all will understand what we're going through. Today's the 18th, it's the 20th. Whatever, September 20th, or November 20th, I don't know what it is, but, so... I think, yeah, I, I think it's we, all around bad deal. Yeah. So I think we got we got through it pretty good. Uh it's just um that was uh that was it. That was the if you're like I said, make sure you're following the Bell Life Facebook and you're following the Bell Life Instagram. I'll just show you what they look like because I, I don't know all the names and all the crap of the crap, but this is this is Amy, make sure this is focused. This is what the Bell Life Facebook looks like. Yeah. Okay. 
and then this is what the Bell Life Instagram looks like. Just like this. Good. Those two right there. Make sure you follow those for updates. You know, if we put on stories or whatever, but you know, we're, we're, um, we're a couple of videos we do have pre recorded. So if you notice, you know, I would really like to not see any comments about, you know, that we can't believe we're uploading or any of that kind of stuff. We got, you know, just trying to do what's what's best. There's still going to be a pecker head out there that yeah. has to comment. We're just we're trying to you know. And some, if, if we do miss an upload, just always keep that in mind. That we did miss an upload. We missed an upload on um, November 17th. Last Wednesday was our first was our first missed upload on November. It's just extremely difficult you right now. You put one up the next day, didn't you? No, I didn't put a bellife.com video up yesterday. It's, it's extremely hard. We have like it's, it's families everywhere, and our dad is an absolute train wreck. So we're trying to stay strong for him and spend time with him. So. Um, I know you all will understand. Just please stick with us through this uh, rough time. Yes, so there's more than rough time. So please share this video as much as possible. And um, over. and if, if uh, um, we um, appreciate you all, it's rough. Thank you.